Hi, my name is Frank Schaefer. It doesn't seem possible as I look back now, but in the 1970s and 1980s, I was not only a member of the religious right, but a young nepotistic sidekick to my evangelist right-wing father, Francis Schaefer, as we toured the country drumming up support for the anti-abortion movement that then shaped the Republican Party as the litmus test that propelled Ronald Reagan, the two Bush presidents, and Donald Trump to power. My family, the Schaefer family, were very much responsible, along with a number of other people, for politicizing the evangelical movement, especially the white evangelical movement, beyond all recognition in terms of a religious movement. We as a family bear some responsibility for the mess we are now in with Donald Trump the 140,000 deaths, with thousands more that are going to start every week now as COVID-19 explodes again <clears throat> in a second wave throughout this country because of his ineptitude, inactivity, lies, and the fact that the evangelical base that I personally, as a young man in his 20s, helped my father form has now turned on its country to become a kind of a fifth column that has invaded our political system. But today, for the first time, I heard something that I never thought in my lifetime I would hear. A U.S. president, in this case Donald Trump on Fox News Sunday, being asked if he would abide by the election result in November. The most un-American line that has ever been spoken by a U.S. president in the history of our nation, back to its founding, was spoken today. And that is, he said, I will have to see, I'll have to see, in answer to, would you abide by the election result in November? I'll have to see. I'll have to see. In the tsunami of bad news pouring over this country, generated by this failed man, this con artist who's president, these words must stand out and send a chill through the whole body politic of the United States, right, left, in between, libertarian, you name it. If you are an American and you tolerate a president who refers to our sacred democracy as something that he will have to see about when it comes to abiding by the peaceful transfer of power, which has been the only true glory of the United States, a country that indulged in slavery and racism and misogyny and war after war that was unnecessary, and a brutal police force that is out of control, all these other things can be stacked against one glorious shining star and that is the transfer of political power peacefully without blood in the streets. A while back I made a video about Trump goading America after the murder, the nine minute murder of a black man. And I said that he desired a race war to distract us from what he has done and to help give him a chance with the underbelly of the American Republic, which is the neo-Nazi, white, fascistic, evangelical group that I was part of that is now nothing more than a white nationalist group of racists clinging to this man while everyone else leaves. But now we have gone another step. Trump is not just calling for a race war in thinly veiled terms. He is now openly saying that he will defy the electoral process. He has already defied it. Because by not giving a resounding, of course I will abide by the election results, because I am an American and I am proud of our democracy, he says, I'll have to see. Simultaneously in Portland, Oregon, federal, federal agents Cowards, not even wearing name tapes, so they cannot be identified with unmarked vehicles, are arresting and kidnapping American citizens, peaceful protesters, bludgeoning them. 
and dragging them away in a mirror image of what is going on in Hong Kong now with the freedom fighters there against the communist party that is taking over that formerly free city. Bookended between that and his statement that he will have to wait and see, we have a president who is no longer a president of the United States, but a strong man in waiting, counting now not just on race conflict and the worst national instincts of fighting for the flying of Confederate slave-owning state flags, but now openly challenging the U.S. democratic system of governance. Every single American, every single Republican, every single evangelical Christian and conservative Roman Catholic, no matter who you voted for in 2016, should be outraged. And the fact that not every single Republican senator and congressman is standing up today screaming and yelling about this, the fact that the Joint Chiefs of Staff sitting in the Pentagon have not said that the U.S. military, if it comes to that, will guarantee the dem democracy and the election result is a scandal. Where are the judges? Where are the senators? Where are the Americans who will stand up against this would-be authoritarian, tin-pot, moronic dictator? Trump is calling for civil war. Trump is a traitor. And every single person in America who is still a patriot must be outraged at this and declare that if it takes every single one of us to pour into the streets, as we have been doing in the Black Lives Matter rebellion against police brutality, we will not let this stand. This shall not pass. My name is Frank Schaefer, but now openly challenging the U.S. democratic system of governance. Every single American, every single Republican, every single evangelical Christian and conservative Roman Catholic, no matter who you voted for in 2016, should be outraged. And the fact that not every single Republican senator and congressman is standing up today screaming and yelling about this, the fact that the Joint Chiefs of Staff sitting in the Pentagon have not said that the U.S. military, if it comes to that, will guarantee the dem democracy and the election result is a scandal. Where are the judges? Where are the senators? Where are the Americans who will stand up against this would-be authoritarian, tin-pot, moronic dictator? Trump is calling for civil war. Trump is a traitor. And every single person in America who is still a patriot must be outraged at this and declare that if it takes every single one of us to pour into the streets, as we have been doing in the Black Lives Matter rebellion against police brutality, we will not let this stand. This shall not pass. My name is Frank Schaefer.